suffering wrongfully. First Peter First Peter chapter two from verse twenty one. For even to this were you called, it is inseparable from your vocation. For Christ also suffered for you, leaving you his personal example, so that you should follow in his footsteps. He was guilty of no sin, neither was deceit, guile ever found on his lips. When he was reviled and insulted, he did not revile or offer insult in return. When he was abused and suffered, he made no threats of vengeance, but he trusted himself and everything to him who judges fairly. We are called to this, to rely on Christ who judges fairly. That is why he told us to love your enemies. 